the centre of the northwestern city of Olbia, Italian cliches converge. The mopeds, the coffee shops, but fast-paced and frantic, this place is not. Come 2pm and it's siesta time. For the next three days, snoozing in the afternoon will be the last thing on the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally team's minds as they contest round five of this year's World Rally Championship, Rally d'Italia Sardinia. We join Nico Havenin as he takes a quiet stroll around the centre of Albia. But it seems that the Finn doesn't blend in, and it's not long before he's recognised. Coming from a cold climate, Miko heads straight for a gelato. That's ice cream to the rest of us. He tells us why he likes Sardinia. Benvenuti in Sardinia. When you come here in summer times, it's, it's quite often so warm that everything is a bit yellow and brown, but now it's been raining and everything is completely green. And uh, in places it looks a bit like New Zealand now. So uh, I really like it. Why I like it so much is it's okay, the character of the roads, but also the surface. It's a little bit soft, a bit more sandy than in other rallies, and it just gives you a little bit more consistent grip, which I like. So it's a nice one. Run of results here has been good for you, but you've never won on this island, but you've come runner up many times. When are we going to see the win? Well, I really hope we can change it this year. And like you said, I've been here the second, I think, four times. So, got close, <coughs> but just haven't, you know, just haven't been able to just take it. So, uh, maybe this is the year. You never, you never know. The last event we saw the closest ever finish within the WRC, with Yari Mati Latfala just missing out on a win by 0.2 of a second. How is he feeling after Jordan, and is he ready to fight back? Yeah, I was very disappointed for a couple of days after the rally, but then one week later I started, it was neutralised, the situation, but uh, yes, I'm hungry, motivation is really, really high, I really want to fight for the victory, especially the Chardini is one of my favourite events, so I really want to be fighting for, uh, for the victory over here. It's about the experience that I have been here quite many times. The stages are, when you look on the, on the, on the surface, it looks, it looks good, but they are soft because of the rain, so they will be rutted easily if it especially if it's if it's raining more but hopefully if it if it stays dry it would maybe get the uh, get, get the get bit more you know harder stage number 2 and 4 probably the most difficult stages in the rally the road are they are more turning in in Oristano area there you have a less less straight but still they can be quick there's checks that it be very quick very technical so the rhythm is changing a lot why it's difficult because it's turning a lot. It is that you have a lot of information, you have to take a lot of information in your brains and you have no time to relax. When you have a longer straight, you always can relax your head a bit, but you don't have this chance in the Oristano area when the road is turning so much. This weekend, we will see a bumper entry of Ford Fiestas across the board. A total of 34 will compete on Sardinian soil, from the WRC through to the FIA WRC Academy Fiesta R2s. It's great for us, great for Ford to get uh, so many cars out and of course not only that but really starting at the, the grassroots level with the Academy car and of course we've got the Super 2000 Fiesta and of course we've got the Fiesta RS World Rally car so it's uh, yeah it's, it's a you can imagine I'm very proud because all the cars have been sort of uh, developed up at M Sport with, with the help of Ford as well and of course to have the Academy cars as well uh, that's a real uh, it's a real real bonus for us. And it's a good endorsement of the product as well, not just of the rally car, but of the people who prepare that. That's, you know, within Ford and also with our partners, M Sport. And to see so many Fiestas here this weekend, it's, it's really fantastic. You know, we're making up, uh, I think, 55% of the entry for the overall rally. So it's really good for us. To compete, you must have four wheels on your wagon. And the man who's in charge of all things black, round and made of rubber is George Black. We take a quick look into the world of one of the longest serving members of the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally Team. Hello, I'm George Black. I'm the tyre manager for the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally Team and I'm going to show you where I work. We'll use 36 tyres uh, per car and overall the, the three uh, Abu Dhabi cars plus the customer cars with the 360 tyres we'll use. The tyres are allocated 36 per driver. 
before the rally starts and we cannot mix them up, they're controlled by barcode. We have a barcode list that we get from the FIA before the rally starts and that is the 36 tyres for Miko, that's 36 tyres for Yari Mati. It, it's more than just a job, it, it's, a, it's a way of life, it is a life, it is a way of life, it's, it's what I've known now for the last 15 years or so, just constantly on the road and doing test rally, test rally. It's, uh, yeah, devotion, I don't know what you would call it. You've seen many drivers over the years, you've worked with many drivers, some great names have come through this team especially. You get on well with the guys here now, with Miko, with Yari Massey? Oh yeah, yeah, very, very well. Um, we've got a, a, a good understanding and, uh, you know, especially the younger drivers, especially Yari Matty, I mean, he realises that, you know, I've worked with Carlos, I've worked with Colin, I've worked with Marcus, all people that Yari Matty idolised when he was young. So he understands that you know I work with the best, and we've got a mutual respect for each other now. That you know, he, he trusts what I'm telling him, and he's, he's particularly good because he's so keen to know about what happened in the old days. You know, how did we do in Kenya with all uh, this, that, and everything else? And it's we have a good uh, we have a good chat each other uh, quite often. Yeah. Back in 2009, when the event was last part of the WRC, it was Yari Matty who took the top honours. We reflect back over time with Yari Matty with a special guest interviewer. And then it's like, exactly, exactly. How much do you think since 2009 you have actually grow, grown as a person? Like you had, like everybody some days have difficult times, but then you just keep on pushing and it goes well. So how much you have learned? What has actually kind of uh, made you in, in a position where you are right now? When I went to every rally, I wanted to, I wanted so much win, win the rally that I did big mistakes and just uh, over driving and just you know taking too big risks. The reality is that we need we need victories for the team. Well let's make a deal. We start from this rally. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, that's a wrap. The opening day we will see the WRC crews head midway down the island's west coast to sample new stages near Oristano, uncharted territory for the WRC. But both Miko and Yari Matti are up for the fight this weekend. Rally d'Italia Sardinia is set to be a thriller.